artistic family so happy you guys are here today I have a 10 by 10 inch canvas thin edge and before we get started guys I just wanted to remind you guys to go check your notifications and make sure that you select all sometimes there's issues with YouTube where it falls off it even happens with mine and my subscriptions so once in a while just go take a look and make sure it's on all because you're not getting all of your alerts I know I'm not and I still have some people uh, mentioning that but that little blue dot beside your subscription tells you that there is something new that you haven't watched or something else new so what I want to do today guys is just a really simple dark but yummy earthy ring pour so let's go ahead and get started okay so let's layer the cup um, I didn't tell you but you've probably guessed so my paints are pretty thick I'm thinking that's a little too thick so let me thin that out and all I do when I do that guys is just add a little bit of water again I'm used to it so I just kind of judge and you should always start with a little bit check and then add more you can always add more um, yeah that's, that's good so I'm using this uh, in the pour as well just a little bit um, just to divide up some of the layers and to create some depth and I love that it will provide some really cool contrast with these colors again I didn't want it soft and earthy I wanted it kind of bright bold and vibrant earthy so we're going to start off here with the black in to take a look at that but you can see the depth from the way that I layered it and it just looks really cool I'm not sure about the brown here it got really reactive hope they can get rid of that but I really want to open this up and this here that is just super cool we got here five fingers I had a thumb in my last one I got some fingers going on here <laughs> okay guys let's paint that brown oh. looks like it might cause a problem for me so I'm thinking about that as I am stretching this and looking at the composition because I'm 99.99% .99 sure I will be going off that area first and I do want black negative space which is why I put black in the center because I often like to do that. Okay. Let's just so we gotta get rid of that brown. Oh gosh. That is so gorgeous. Okay, guys, let me think. Oh my gosh. If I didn't have paint on my hands right now, they would be in my mouth because wow, that's gorgeous. Color blend is stunning. I love burnt sienna. And I think, I think I see some cells coming through. That's a pooper, guys, because I don't want to do another pour inside. That was so beautiful. But I might have to and do it at the lower end and keep this because I love the composition. I love my rain pours like that. Take a look at my ring pour playlist if you have it. 
So we know the majority of that is going. Wow, is that ever gorgeous? Is that ever gorgeous? Okay, so what I'm thinking I might do is bring this down. Gosh, guys, what can I say? Unbelievable. Wow. Again, I've used these colors, but not like this. And it makes a huge difference when you change the technique. Oh, wow. Wow. Now, you guys, I know I'm in my glory. I have all of this stunning black okay so I'm gonna get rid of it and this is just so beautiful I'm gonna continue stretching this I'm not gonna lose much of my composition or my lines because my consistency is great <clears throat> but I do not want that I'm loving it, guys, but you see what's happening. Mm -hmm. I'm losing my full design, and now watch what happens. Yeah, it's practically gone, so I'm doing it over. A little bit of thought. As much as I loved that, I had some leftovers, and it seems like this burnt, sea, um, burnt umber is taking over big time, but I didn't have a whole lot of burnt sienna, so let's just see what happens. Um, but the, the outline is so cool that I could actually keep some of it. So I just thought, let's try this. Mm. Let's see what happens. When I know there's a lot more paint too, and I'm able to work with it, I do. Don't be scared to stretch. Bring up those layers underneath. There's lots of beauty there. You never know. You might end up with a masterpiece. You may dislike it, but if you never try, you won't know. You know, I don't mind that. I'm just going to blow here for a sec, guys, because I'm in that extra playful mood. There you have it, guys. Two pours, not planned. Same colors, same technique, two completely different results. Now, yes, I did blow on this one, okay? <laughs> but if you pour, you know what I mean. Um, I could, You can do everything exactly the same, and the paints can react different, look different, blend different. It really is a phenomenon and uh, is another reason why I'm enamored, intrigued, and very addicted to fluid art. But I'm so happy I did pour over it because if you don't play, and I say play because even though I love the last results with a boatload of lacing and all that negative space, I had some leftovers and I wasn't expecting that to happen. I was looking for more of a ring pour. So for me, I was compelled to pour over this. Um, and I love this. It's like, it looks like uh, a bloom flower, gorgeous, sophisticated flower. Um, looks like I used the blow dryer, which is why I do love blowing, because you do get some of the design from a blow dryer, but you don't get those really wispy lines unless you refine them yourself. And that's, that's the best part of what I love about um, Dutch pours, if you can get them to work right. And... Uh, for me, everybody's style and taste is different, but for what I like, and I just think this is beautiful. I love it. This has just the right amount of negative space. I love that I was able to keep some of the design or intentionally 
kept some of the design like it just works with the flow and um, I just really love how those rustic earthy tones blended so beautiful anyways guys give me a comment let me know if you're happy um, that I did the pours let me know if you enjoy both pours if you like the first one over the second one the color blend anything at all I love to talk to you guys share ideas get your feedback and uh, yeah so definitely hit that uh, like button subscribe if you're not part of the artistic family and until next time Stay safe, stay healthy, love you guys, and see you all in the next pour.